Why don't you want to go? Who's that? Mick. We used to do the same course. I was actually really good friends with him before we met. But... How come you never mentioned him before? I haven't seen him in ages. Does it matter? Yeah. Well, why don't you want to go out? For tomorrow. Well, like that stopped you before. Yeah, well, normally when I go out, it's with people I know. Can we just talk about it after the party? Well, that wasn't so bad. As always. <laughs> I think we're getting better at that card game. No, you're getting better. Well, to be fair, it is like when we play back home. Oh. Was that your aunt? Who? Who won the game? Oh well, yeah, my sister. Hmm. They look similar. Yeah, it's about as far as the similarities go. A bit odd. Really? Yeah, her and mom do not get along. Oh, I can understand that. Did your mom make the cake? Yeah. Well, that was really good. Mm. Mom's cooking is something I miss. What, so my cooking is not good enough? You don't cook that often. Excuse me, I cook all the time. Okay. It must not be as good as your mother's, but... That's not what I meant. Well, then why did you say it? It's, I didn't mean anything by it. Honestly, I didn't. What were you talking to your mom about? When? After dinner, in the kitchen. Nothing really. Nothing? Yeah. Was she talking about me? Yeah, I guess. Like we just talked about general stuff. Like my cooking. God. Just forget it. Who's that? Mick. How does he have your number? Okay, they just left? So if we go quick, I bet we can catch them. No, I already told you I'm not going out. We said we would talk about it after the party. No, you said that. I'd already decided. Oh, please, Graham. I haven't seen him in ages. No. And we haven't been out together in so long. What are you talking about? We were out just a few weeks ago. Why don't you want to go? I told you I've worked tomorrow. <laughs> that doesn't stop you when you're with your friends. Oh, bullshit. Why don't you want to go? I told you already. You can't make me go out if I don't, I don't want to. This. I don't I even know that. Don't give me that. I know what you were talking to your mom about, okay? And you know, I don't care. I don't care what she thinks about me. I just don't know why you listen. My dad did uh, 24 years in the army um, and then he became a music teacher after that. So when I was born and grew up, he was a teacher, he wasn't in the army. But every year he would go to um, the uh, commemoration of the Korean War in London in St Paul's Cathedral. So I'd go along, tag along to that because he was quite relatively famous from the Korean War as well. And his regiment were the Gloucestershire Regiment. They, they, uh, in April 1951, they fought uh, an entire Chinese army to a standstill. Um, 600 of them were killed. Um, no, 600 were either injured, killed or captured. And that, um, most of them captured. And so my dad spent uh, two and a half years in a Chinese, communist Chinese prison of war camp afterwards. He was the drum major of the, the, the regiment, so he was in charge of the drums and bugles. Mm -hmm. And uh, their job was to protect headquarters in wartime. Mm -hmm. But near the end of the battle, the Chinese didn't have radios or uh, high-tech equipment, so they used trumpets and bugles to signal between units and signal attacks and signal retreat and all this sort of stuff. And so the noise when they were on, the, on their final hill being surrounded after four days, um, the noise was terrible. So the commanding officer had said, do we, do we have a British bugle that could reply to this noise? And so my dad, my dad was six foot four, wouldn't have one of his drummers 
play the bugle. So he took the bugle off him and stood outside his, his um, uh, slit trench and played the bugle. And he played every single call in the British Army um, bugle manual from start to finish in order. Uh, except that he played the, the, the last post at the end. Uh, people know the last post from funerals. And then he played the Long Valley, which is the most complex bugle call you can do. And he played it in the direction they thought the relief was coming. There was supposed to be a relief column fighting its way through to them, but it didn't get through to them. And when he finished, allegedly, everything was quiet. All the gunfire had stopped, all, everything had stopped, and all the bu Ch Chinese bugle and trumpet calls had stopped, and there was total silence for a minute or two. And then the battle started again. And then a short while later, they decided to uh, try and get off the hill. So they, um, the wounded were abandoned in the care of a medical officer and they all tried to escape off the hill. But most of them got captured, in, including my dad. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a famous story and I have pictures of it as well.